Welcome back. Elderly people who take several common drugs in combination risk accelerating dementia. And they also have a death rate three times higher than normal. That's the conclusion of a new study that looked at how dozens of medicines taken by the over 65s interact with each other. Here's our medical editor, Lawrence McGinty. One more time. Go. Like many people who are getting on a bit, Robin Davis has lots of medical problems, like multiple sclerosis, and he used to take lots of drugs. Then he took part in a project at the Barchester Lucerne Care Home in Exeter to reduce the number he was taking. I don't get a hangover because with certain medications. I remember I had you were hungover the following day, but now they just makes me um, happy to be alive. To Researchers aren't pointing the finger at any one drug, rather they're concerned about the active ingredients in a whole variety, 80 of them, including common drugs like Zantac and Nitol. And they're worried that over 65s who take two or more of these could be at risk. Their study followed 13,000 over 65s for two years. Nearly half of them took drugs known to have side effects in the brain. People taking two or more of these risked a 4% increase in dementia symptoms and a higher death rate, 1 in 5 compared to 1 in 14 among people who didn't take those drugs. Ask about the side effects. Ask the doctor whether there are alternatives with fewer side effects. Take all the medication you're taking, including what you buy over the counter or in the supermarket, along to the doctor. Spread it all out and say, are there things here that I actually shouldn't be taking? Come on, Barbara. Doctors knew elderly patients taking many drugs could create problems. This research shows it could triple the death rate among the over 65s. Lawrence, this could be, this could be rather alarming for the elderly. What advice would you give to these drugs? Well, the message from the research is loud and clear, but you remember that this kind of research can never prove that taking these drugs causes the increase in death rates, only that they're linked. And remember as well that some of these drugs are taken for, to control serious conditions. So I think the sensible thing to do is draw up a list of everything you're taking and go through it with your GP or your pharmacist. Sometimes there'll be alternatives that don't have these side effects. Sometimes you'll have been taking drugs for ages that you actually don't need to take anymore. So take a good hard look at what you're taking. All right, Lawrence, thank you very much indeed.